Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about some rumours, and also we're going to be breaking down the Episode 18 synopsis, so we've got two different parts of the video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this first rumour is very exciting, and I would be 100% down with this. So this is coming from Supergirl.tv, they are an amazing website, I really really do love their website, they have all the latest news, they have recaps of the episodes, you know, they post everything bang on time, and I really like them, and they are really useful, so go check them out. But they posted this rumour, and this was a couple of days ago, so on the 5th of April, and it's the 8th now, so, so it's been a few days old, but I only recently just saw it, but... So, according to them, there's a rumour going around that young Alex and Kara may return. So, I'll read through the article and break it down, talk about how likely it is, and my excitement levels towards this. Alright, so, Alex and Kara are sisters, and share a bond that is one of the best sibling relationships portrayed on TV. Last year, when we heard that Supergirl would be exploring that relationship's origin, we were more than excited. As a result, the episode Midvale debuted and is still held in the fans' hearts as one of the best episodes on the show, and I can second that. Currently, that relationship is being tested as Kara's true identity is missing from Alex's memory. Many fans are sitting a little awkwardly waiting and waiting to have Alex's memories restored and thus Alex and Kara's relationship raised to its maximum. So. Again, that's just a quick recap of what's been going on, what happened last season when we had the mid Vale episode, which, like I just previously mentioned, is easily one of my favourite episodes in the entirety of Supergirl. I really, really loved the episode, and I was so impressed by Isabella Vidovic and also Olivia Nikanen in that episode portraying younger Kara and younger Alex and the parallels. It really, really was amazing, I really loved it. Okay, so let's move on to the next part of their article, and it says, Well, many rumours are starting to swell that Olivia Nukanen and Isabella Vidovic may reprise their roles as young Alex and young Kara, respectively, for season four. What takes us back to the Midvale days and why the two could be returning is not known, but our thinking is that Alex's memory restoration might have something to do with it. The two, who have become pretty good friends, mainly via social media as they say, were spotted in Vancouver filming a project together. The pair wrapped shooting late last night, and so that was obviously on the 4th because this article was made on the 5th. Look for their pair to appear potentially in episode 21 if this is true. So they talk about this, and the rumour is mainly due to them being in Vancouver because obviously I don't think they're situated in Vancouver, they might be, I don't know, but so the pair were shooting together and so that is very exciting and I think there is a high possibility that they may have been working on Supergirl, that it's under wraps because, you know, people don't want us to know about lots of this stuff, so the people behind Supergirl, so I think there's a definite possibility this could be happening and I really do hope it happens, but also at the same time it could be you know just a short film that they're making together and she was like oh do you want to come to Vancouver and we're gonna shoot this thing because I really really enjoyed working with you on Supergirl I mean it could be either or but I hope it's Supergirl and by the looks of this photo that they took actually together it looks like they're actually in a trailer so if they're shooting a normal kind of short film, they're not going to have trailers, so the fact that it looks like they're in a trailer, I could be mistaken, it could be, you know, some sort of l lodge or like a hotel room that kind of looks like a trailer, but it looks like a film star or a TV star trailer, so could this be that they're on the Supergirl set and it's all under wraps and they came into the trailer and they took this photo and they're actually shooting for Supergirl, even if it's just very minimally, but that would be in episode 21, because I believe at the point when they were in Vancouver, Supergirl was currently shooting episode 21, as Supergirl.tv says. 
so that would line that up into that episode if they do appear and I think that would be perfect because we have been waiting as they said in the article for a very long time for Alex to actually get her memories back and I think when she actually remembers everything she's going to have to remember every single thing so going back to when obviously Kara was using her superpowers when the younger because Alex doesn't have any of that in her mind you would see these past times in history and maybe we have a whole episode dedicated to that to getting Alex's memory back by the end of the season and maybe that is episode 21 I don't think we know that much about episode 21 right now so I think that remains to be seen and I think this could be you know a different version of the Midvale episode because like I said that was a very great episode and I think it was quite successful in terms of fans ratings because it really had a true heart and Olivia and Isabella really killed it in this episode so I really hope this rumor is true and I hope they were actually in Vancouver to shoot Supergirl and it looks like they're in a trailer so fingers crossed Alright, so let's move on to talk about this synopsis for episode 18, so that's next episode. So if it was 21 that they're going to appear, that means we got 18, 19, 20, and then we got 21. So, you know, really, really not a long time away from when we get this, because episode 18 is airing on the 21st of April. So we're on a break right now, so that's going to be a little while, you know, a couple of weeks, and then after that, 21 won't be too far away. Alright, so let's break down this episode 18 synopsis. So this is for the episode Crime and Punishment, which is next episode. This is how it goes. Kara and Lena head to Strikers Island to search for clues on how to defeat Lex. Kara tries to befriend a nosy prisoner, Steve, who may have insight into what Lex was doing. While Lena studies an array of puzzles Lex left behind in the hopes of discovering his whereabouts. While there, a prison riot breaks out and Kara must find a way to stop the prisoners without revealing her secret identity as Supergirl. Meanwhile, Kelly encourages James to talk about his PTSD with someone and Alex faces off against Ben Lockwood after he storms the DEO and acquires some powerful weapons to hunt Supergirl. Alright, so let's break this down. So the first part of the synopsis talks about Kara and Lena going to Strikers Island and this is in order to find clues as to how to defeat Lex Luthor and lots of things like that. But in the comics, Strikers Island is a real place and it's a prison. So I guess like an Alcatraz type place. And at points in the comics, Lex was actually put there. Parasite was there. Toy Man was there. We've seen all those different characters before. So it's appeared in the television shows and the films and lots of different things where it's been referenced and so I think the reason why they're doing this is because Lex went there at some point I don't think they actually name drop Lex actually go in there but that is where he was essentially so this guy Steve might have some insight as to what Lex is doing they're going to try and find out some information about his true plans and so Lena actually studies an array of puzzles left behind by Lex, so he's been leaving these little traces, and so they're still trying to find out his whereabouts as to where he is currently right now. And the next part of the synopsis talks about while they're there, a prison riot breaks out, and they must find a way to actually stop the riot, and Kara can't reveal her identity essentially, because, you know, she's around, and there's security cameras everywhere, she can't just run outside into an alleyway and turn into Supergirl because she will be caught on camera and she has her normal clothes on and everything like that. So she would definitely be caught, so she has to find a way to stop this riot without actually causing anything too crazy to happen for her to actually be revealed as Supergirl essentially. And so Kelly encourages James to talk about his PTSD with someone. So. This seems like, I don't know, like a little add into the episode, like what can we fill up the time with? Because this happened last episode, I believe, when they were just talking for a few scenes, then they go off, and I don't see a real point in this. I mean, we'll talk about James in a bit because there's been a script leak, which is very interesting, we'll get onto that, I forgot to mention that at the start of the video, but yeah, I'm not so excited about this James stuff with Kelly. 
And so Alex faces off against Ben Lockwood after he storms the DEO and acquires some powerful weapons to hunt Supergirl. This is what we saw in the trailer when he attacks Brainy because I guess Brainy doesn't give him anything. You know, he has the authority essentially to go in and take anything he wants at this point. Alright, so let's move on and talk about this last thing. So there was a script leak from Makar Brooks. Obviously, he wasn't meant to do this, but, you know, there's some interesting things. So here is what it says. So um, Lena, and it's in the script, Ben had no idea Lex was behind this. The look in his eyes, he was hearing this for the first time. And so that actually links up to what's happening in this episode. So I don't know if this is this episode or later on, but it seems like this could be very, very soon. And so the next bit, James says, everything he believes in is a lie. And then Lena says, and he's not well. I think he's disorientating because of the Haranel. So it seems like there's a big reveal that maybe Agent Liberty has taken the Haranel. But maybe it's to do with Lex, but it seems like the way it's written, it's all to do with Ben Lockwood. And so James says, will that happen to me? Lena says, no, he injected the untested serum, but she's not sure. By tomorrow, it won't matter anyway. I'm working on the extraction. So they're going to try and take this Haranel out. But I don't remember if early in this season, Ben Lockwood took the Haranel. I'm fairly sure he didn't. So maybe this is a new thing that happened. He somehow gets his hands on the Haranel. Maybe, oh, that could actually be what's happening this episode. Why he acquires powerful weapons. Because the Haranel is a way to defeat Supergirl. And maybe he found out about it and... He was like, yes, I'm using it. That makes a lot of sense. I did not think about that before. That just came to mind right now. So maybe he does storm in and take that Haranel because Lena's working inside the DEO with her Haranel. So, wow, that could be happening. That's exciting, actually. And so the last thing is James wants to believe they lock eyes but are interrupted by the sound of a car door slamming and a car starting. They look up to see Ben Lockwood speeding out of the parking space. So, this is a script leak, obviously, and they could change it. Obviously, this is just a script. Maybe on the day they change it, but it's going to be very, very similar, and it's all going to be about the Haranel. So, it seems like Ben Lockwood is taking the Haranel at some point in the next couple of episodes. I think it could definitely be an episode 18. Maybe that is the strong weapon he needs to fight Supergirl because the president knows about this Haranel and Lena's testing. So maybe this is why Brainy is like so against what's happening when he actually storms in because he's like, where is Lena's experiment? Give it to me. And he uses it. And so he, in this script leak, has no idea about Lex actually controlling everything and maybe this is at the point where he stops everything because everything he's believed in has been orchestrated he hasn't been in full control so that's very interesting so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe if you're new and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any videos I will see you guys later goodbye